This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on guys? So I like Fallout 4. You guys like 5 things you didn't know lists. So why not make one for Fallout 4? And of course, like all other 5 things you didn't know lists, if you learned something from this video, leave a like. And if you knew everything in this video, leave a dislike. Uh, without further ado, 5 things you didn't know about Fallout 4. Number 5. Various Weird Facts Alright guys, so I've got a couple cool factoids for you. It's possible to fling dead bodies around with gamma gun pistols or other weapons with area of effect damage. This is because enemies ragdoll when they die, and of course if you're on PC and have mods set up to enable ragdolling while enemies are still alive, you can quote unquote juggle them around. Uh, in my opinion, this works really well with Lorenzo's artifact variant of the gamma gun in particular. Uh, what's also cool is you can jetpack in and out of the town of Good Neighbor, uh, simply hop over one of the many fences around the town and you'll hit a loading screen. After that, you're in Good Neighbor. Uh, if you are in combat while hopping into the town, the local townsfolk will actually help you fight them off. Uh, who knew that the settlers of a somewhat shady town could be so helpful? Uh, another cool thing is that the weight stat for items is actually in pounds. Uh, how can I be sure of this? Well, you can find various types of weights at Madden's Boxing Gym, located between Old North Church and Pikmin Gallery. Uh, the 25-pound weights there have an in-game weight of 25. Video game logic is actually pretty cool, considering that you can have zero strength, and you can carry 200 pounds of stuff. Honestly, I think that's pretty awesome. Number four, loading screens. So this is actually kind of funny, but I actually thought that this was a glitch. Uh, if you press X, which is the blue button on your Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller during loading screens, you can remove all of the textures from the model and turn everything green. Uh, this is pretty similar to how various highlighted limbs look in VATS. Uh, for the PC version, provided you're using a keyboard and mouse, uh, the button to toggle this effect is the Q button, provided you haven't remapped stuff. Uh, while I don't have the PS4 version, I believe you'd probably achieve the same effect by pressing the square button. By the way, if I am incorrect about that, feel free to correct me and I'll add an annotation on this video. Uh, if you are on mobile, uh, just read the comments or I'll add it to the video description. Uh, sorry guys, I just don't own a PS4 or a PS4 controller. Number three, power armor. So I have some interesting facts about power armor for you. Uh, did you know that the Model A T45, T51, T60, and X01 power armors all weigh 92 or I guess in real world, 92 pounds? Uh, the fully upgraded Model F versions of each also weigh the same, though it's slightly more weight rolling in at about 114.8 pounds. Uh, the base model of the Raider Power Armor weighs 102 pounds, which is more than the T45, T51, T60, and X01. Uh, however, the fully upgraded version of the Raider Power Armor weighs less than the Model F versions of the other armors, clocking in at 112.1 pounds. Uh, keep in mind, though, that the T45, T51, T60, and X01 armors offer more defense and durability than the Raider Power Armor when fully upgraded, despite the higher weight. Uh, another interesting thing that you might notice for you PC users out there is that while accessing the console, uh, normally the game stops time. Uh, however, if you are in a suit of Power Armor in first person and you open up the console, you may notice that the Power Armor HUD continues to move like normal. Uh, honestly, I think this is pretty neat in my opinion. Number two. Cut weapons and cut weapon customizations. 
those of you that have been with the channel for a while will know most of these as I've gone over these before. Uh, however, for those that are new to the channel, you might like to know that there were a couple really cool cut weapon customizations and versions of certain weapons. Uh, for example, the Fat Man, like the missile launcher, was planned to have its very own targeting computer for homing mini nukes at one point in development. Uh, there was also going to be upgraded versions of the broadsider as well as a nuclear broadsider, which would fire nuclear cannonballs at half the cost of a missile and roughly uh, just over half the damage amount. Uh, there are some other customizations like the splitting dish for the gamma gun pistol, which makes it fire like a plasma scatter gun or a scatter mod for the laser rifle or musket. Uh, the regular sledgehammer would have also been able to have a stun pack, which is currently exclusive to the super sledge in the vanilla game. There was also originally going to be a triple flame jets customization for the shish kebab, which was inferior to the extra flame jets upgrade we got hence why it was probably cut from the game, and there were also two unique weapon sight crosshair patterns that we didn't see in the final game as well. Uh, those are the hexagonal sights and the bracket sights. In my opinion, between the two, I think I prefer those hexagonal sight patterns more. Uh, if you'd like to use these cut weapons and customizations on the PC version of Fallout 4, I highly recommend you download the Cut Weapons Restored mod by Frogs345 on the Fallout 4 Nexus on the Nexus mod site. Uh, links will be in the description. Number 1. Free Ammo. So I'm not sure if this is a glitch or not, but occasionally if you kill an enemy and pick up their guns, you can receive ammo for that specific gun. Uh, this is actually really useful with certain weapon types, like plasma weapons, uh, 44 pistols, or weapons with just more expensive ammo types. Uh, for whatever reason, I've found that this works best on stealth characters, as sometimes it seems like if an enemy fires their gun, uh, then this trick doesn't work. Other times, though, I've had enemies fire their gun, then I picked up their gun and I received ammo, so I don't know what that's about. Uh, that's why I'd recommend you pick up all of the guns you see, if you can, as you can pick up a lot of ammo this way. Uh, besides, if you exceed your carry weight doing this, uh, you can just drop all of the cheap guns you just picked up fast travel to the nearest gun dealer and sell everything. Anyway guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. As always, take care and I'll see you all next time.